What did your school ban back in the day? Simpsons t-shirts. It was a simpler time, Red Rover. Cause we broke a kid's arm once. Pokemon. I was in elementary when the game came out. My first game was Pokemon Red. Kids loved it, Pokemon clothes and merch were popular. The school hated it and they were tired of hearing about Pokemon. Pokemon everything was banned. Shirts, games, even talking about Pokemon would get you in trouble. If you wore any Pokemon merch you'd have to put different clothes on. I remember some kids wearing their art shirts that were dirty and covered in paint because the teachers would prefer kids to wear that before allowing kids to see any Pokemon reference. Girls couldn't smoke. Guys had a designated smoking area, and girls could hang out with them, but they couldn't smoke, so much stuff. Magic. The gathering was banned, sang, do, like Homer Simpson and basically everything Bart ever said was banned. Rock Band shirts were banned, No Fear was banned, Big Johnson shirts were banned, Daisy Duke shorts were banned, anything video game related was banned, Halloween was banned. If the ultra-religious of southern Indiana even caught a whiff that something could be satanic, or improper, it was gone almost immediately. Boys wearing shorts until a particular date on the calendar regardless of the weather. A buddy of mine and I wore skirts one hot day to protest. They suspended us for a couple days. When I was in grade school in the 80s I was like the kid in Goonies that always needed a hit from my inhaler. They changed policies to where any meds kids had needed to be locked up with the school nurse. I was out in recess and a bad asthma attack hit. No inhaler, I collapsed and teachers we weren't able to find the nurse to get the key for my inhaler. So I guess I almost died, woke up intubated in the ER. The school changed the policy so that all teachers had access to the medication locker. This is going to sound very stupid and prison-like. Starting fourth grade for me, the neighborhood where I lived was drawn into a different elementary school in our district. So at this new school, the cafeteria was the worst. We had to be seated in order, eight students to a side, girl bringers, boy bringers, boy buyers and girl buyers, some order like that. If the classroom seated before you had seven on one bench, maybe even on the other side of the cafeteria, first in line had to sit at that table and the rest of your class filed to the next empty table. No one could get up during lunch to talk to or trade seats with anyone to sit with their friends until the lunch monitor sends your table to put trash in the cans and return trays. If it got too loud, certain tables or possibly the whole cafeteria had to be silent for two to five minutes. They never said hey keep the voices to indoor levels, they went straight to these two tables have to stop all noise for three minutes. So here we are with the rule. No sign language during cafeteria silence. We died no actual sign language, but a lot of us girls were pretty fluent in the sign language alphabet. We're being quiet. However, we're punished from communicating. Hats. I graduated high school over 20 years ago and they had those bands then and they still do now. I have never heard a single good reason why hats are somehow a distraction from the educational process nor how they're disrespectful. That's the only thing administration falls on, but they don't hold water. So to me it's only ever been a power play and nothing else. No show socks. Principal said ankles were a temptation to boys. He was arrested a few years later. HTTPS colon www.templebay.com archive 20041028 keyswick dash principal dash fire dash after dash sex dash arrest question output type equals amp. POGS. They said it was a form of gambling, which I guess it was. Slap bracelets. Shorts. In a week the boys were wearing skirts and the ban was lifted. They banned boys and girls from sitting together on the bus for school field trips. Another school in our district had an issue where a girl sat in the back of the bus and blew like five dude. Wild stuff. Not really a ban but they made us all wear our ids around our necks at all times. Some people wrote, 
prisoner their student it number on a paper and attached it to the lanyard. This was the late 90s. 1960s. Girls could smoke but they couldn't wear pants. Tamagotchis. I remember desperately wanting one, waited ages and was so excited when my parents gifted me a knockoff cheap one. Then literally the next day they were banned at school. Devastating. Also POGS got banned after a while I think they ended a few friendships, spaghetti straps trench coats, girls had to wear dresses and skirts to school, until I entered the 8th grade. They banned proms as many teenagers get pregnant.